All right, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe. It does mean a lot to me. And uh, let's get straight into the video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to obtain diamonds. Yes, how to obtain the premium currency in the game, diamonds, as free to play. So I've got a nice breakdown on all the different ways you can obtain diamonds in the game. A big note at the top, we are not including any diamonds you get from events. Now you can get a lot of diamonds from events. That's probably the main place you're going to be getting your diamonds from. So we're not including any of those in this video. As that is too hard to track. And I don't want to go over every single event and how many diamonds you can get from each event. We're just going to be looking at the general way on how you can get diamonds. So I've set it into three different categories. We have the daily diamonds that you can get. We have your weekly diamonds. And then we have the once all time diamonds. So the first thing on the list is crew battle for daily diamonds. See, so in the crew battle tab, you can do three battles. So if we go to the crew battle tab, we go to adventure here. Now in the crew battle tab, you can do the crew battle three times. Now the diamonds do depend on do depend on the amount of people. Now you do want to get into four or five people uh, teams to get the most rewards. So you can do this three times a day, and you get ten diamonds each time you do it. So if we just fight and we just do our uh, one attempt for the day, just to show the ten diamonds that you can get. Alright, let's just skip this, because we don't want to watch the... Let's just collect our uh, reward, whatever it is. Yeah, we got some shards. Alright, so you do that three times a day, and each time, you should, if you've gotten like four to five people, you should get ten diamonds a day pop up here. In your mail. It will take some time, once you do think three, it will take some time to pop up. So that's how you can get 30 diamonds daily from crew battle. Now the next thing is world boss. A world boss you can get from 400 to 200 diamonds. And sometimes you can get lucky and you can get the lucky surprise reward. So let's go down to back down to adventure. On the far right, we go to world boss. And let's go down to the awards. So you can do world boss two times a day. Uh, it's specific times so the next one for me is in about 10 hours and then I think the one after that is seven hours after this one um, so yeah you can do it two times a day and you get diamonds based on your personal ranking so first place will get 200 190 and then it'll go down you, you're guaranteed to get at least 100 diamonds so free to play you'll probably get 100 diamonds you probably won't hit top 10 because uh, the big whales would probably get there but 100 diamonds every time is very good so you get 200 diamonds daily because there's two world bosses daily so 200 time 200 diamonds a day is really good and then if you're lucky uh, you can get the surprise gift this is completely random uh, anyone that participates in the event can get it so if you're lucky you get another 188 but make sure you're doing this Every single day, twice a day, it's free to play. 300 diamonds is huge, it's free to play. It's like a third of your income. So make sure you're doing this every single day, twice a day. All right, so let's go back to our sheet. Let's move on to the next thing. The next thing we have is Guild Red Packets and Moria's Adventure. Now both of these are in the Guild section. So if we go to the Guild section and we go to our Guild Red Packets, we click right here diamond red packets now your guild should be focusing on this first if they want to get the maximum amount of diamonds and on average you do get around 30 20 there we go see we got 27 so it's around 30 you do get around 20 to 30 sometimes you get 40 50 uh, sometimes you only get five i just average it around like 25 to 30 a day i uh, see so yeah, you can get some diamonds there your guild should be Focusing on that in the research center first, 
making sure they upgrade this uh, so you get to that 2530 average. And the next thing is Moria's Adventure. So every time you do this, you get a certain ways. And you get diamonds along the way. You get three times daily. If you've seen my uh, guild section video, you'll probably understand. See, there we go, we got three diamonds. If we keep going, we get six, nine. It, it really depends on how good you are. This one, it really depends on, yeah, how good you are in the game mode. So, oh, unlucky. But yeah, so you can get up to 60 diamonds on your three attempts daily. You, know, you can get more attempts if you want to get closer to the 60, but yeah, you can get 60 diamonds daily if you're good enough. So make sure you're doing the guild red packets collecting them every day and you're doing Mori's adventure three times or however many um, attempts you guys have make sure you're doing them daily now let's go back to our list and let's look at the next thing now the next thing we have uh, is arena ranking now this is for more of the paid to play players as the free to play players won't really get top 10 um, maybe months down the track when you're whales on your server stop playing the game and they they're bored of the game then you can climb to top 10 there is a guy that on my server that's i think there is a guy on my server that is let's go back to arena that is actually top 10 free to play on i think it's this guy or this guy one of these two hey it's this guy this guy's top 10 free to play as you can see so you can reach top 10 but uh, the whales do you have you do have to wait a few months for the whales to leave the game because they're bored of the game. So yes. All right, next up we have is surprise boxes that randomly pop up and drop anywhere from 20 to 200 diamonds. So these surprise boxes are these the ones on the left right here that I'm talking about. So these will just randomly pop up as you're playing the game. So if you keep the game on, you can get boxes. I don't know the exact timing on these boxes because i don't really play the game too long daily but uh yeah if you click on these boxes you can get diamonds unlucky we also you can also get gold so we got 50 gold but you can i have gotten up to 200 diamonds you can get diamonds you can get up to 200 diamonds if you're lucky but it starts from 20 and goes up to 200 then if you are pay to play and you spend $25 a month, you can get 100 diamonds. And if you spend $88 in that month, you can get another 100 diamonds. You can get 200 diamonds. This is for the pay to play players, unfortunately. So that rounds up our daily uh, diamonds for the, for the day. Every day you can get these uh, diamonds. Next up we have is the weekly diamonds, which is mainly in the arena section. So the first thing we have is the Arena X Server Vanquisher. So if we go to Arena X Server Vanquisher is the fourth one right here. Now this one is every week. You just register and then you select your 10 characters that you want to put, your 10 strongest characters, and they'll just automatically fight. And then after the week you get a reward. Oops, wrong one. So I got 12th here. Then you go to rules and you can check the rewards down here. Now if you're free to play, you will not be getting... If you're free to play, you can get top 127 probably. You'll probably get around top 127 at the start. As the whales, as the game goes on and you keep playing for like months on end, you can probably hit like top 64, maybe even... You can probably hit top 64. Because the whales will get bored of the game and they'll stop playing. So you can get 200. At the start, you'll probably you'll probably be getting 100 diamonds uh, weekly. Now, if you're pay to play, you should be getting around 400, 300 at least. Uh, so yeah, if you're free to play, you should get 100 diamonds. You should hit top 127. If you're decent and you know what you're doing in the game. You're not wasting your diamonds. Now the next thing we have on the list is the Inter-Server Summit War. So if we go to the arena, that should be the next one. Inter-Server Summit War. This one happens every week. You fight other players from other servers, not just your server. Uh, in a 3v3. And if we 
we go to the awards, as you can see, the preliminary awards, you won't have the final awards. These are for the big whales in the entire game. Like, they have like 300 million plus uh, CP, so you just look at the first ones, the preliminary awards. And if you're free to play, you should be able to get uh, top, top 100, you should be able to get top 2000 very easily. So you get 20 gems every week there as well. And then the last thing for the weekly, we go back to our list, is Inter-Server Squad Arena. So if we go back here, we go to the Squad Arena, it's the very last one. This one's every week from, I think, Tuesday to Thursday. Uh, you team up with three people on your server. And it's like Arena, but with three people. So you can fire other people. So if it's start here, we can fire uh, other groups of people. And if you just click on them, it'll show you their teams. So yeah, it's just, it's just squatter, it's just arena, but with three people from each person's server. So you go in groups of three, and then you get based on your ranking, you get how many, you get how many diamonds based on your ranking. So if you're free to play, you should easily get top 50, maybe even top 20, because it is three person per team, uh, three people per team, sorry. So you should maybe get top 20 if you're lucky, but you should definitely get top 50. It shouldn't be that many teams. I um, mean, then later on when the whales leave, you can get like easily top 20. So you should be getting like 60 to 80 diamonds weekly here as well. All right, so let's move on to our last category. Once all time rewards. Now these are the rewards that you can only get once in the entire game. So it's one-time rewards. So first up, we have Arena Milestone Ranking Rewards. So if you go to the Arena section, and then you go to the Awards here, uh, you'll get diamonds based off the ranking that you've achieved. So if you get, two th if you get top 20,000, you'll get all of these rewards. So every time you hit a certain rank, you get that reward. So if you hit top 10,000, you get there. If you hit top 9,000, you'll get there. And so on and so forth. So every time you hit a milestone, uh, ranking a reward, you get all these rewards and they add up. This is where you get a lot of diamonds, the most diamonds in the game. As free to play, you should be able to easily hit top 100 if you know what you're doing. Uh, you might be even able to hit top 50. And then as the whales leave, as I said, you can hit top 10 as free to play. As the whales leave and get bored of the game. And if you want a little secret to get maybe the max rewards, I'm not saying this is 100% guaranteed because you do have to spend some diamonds to do this. There is a strategy that you can do on a new server. As soon as the server starts, you just rush to I think level 18 or 20, however much it is to get to arena and then you just climb all the way up to as high as you can like rank one and you'll get these rewards instantly so as soon as a new server drops get on the new server quickly grind to rank 20 it shouldn't be that hard and then just get as high as you can on arena so you can get the rewards if you can get like rank one day one that'd be insane but it does you will have to refresh a lot a lot of refreshing on attempts in arena to get there because you'll just be facing bots because there's no new there's no new players that have unlocked arena so if you're the first one to unlock arena you're just playing against bots and you can get rank one so if you do want to get towards the 8900 or towards the 8000 plus at 7000 plus diamonds uh, you can do that strategy on a new server as soon as the server unlocks, it'll be around uh, server reset. So around 7 a.m. EDT time. Uh, when the game resets, this, that's when the new servers come out. If you just rush to level 20, get on arena, climb as high as you can, uh, you can get a bit more rewards. But if you're free to play and you don't do that, you can probably get yeah, around top 100, top 50. Which I've put as in our... In our breakdown, I put down as 5,400 diamonds, which is top 50. So, 
free to play can hit top 50. You should be able to hit top 100, top 50, and you can get 5,400 diamonds. Now, next up is story mode. So story mode, if we go back here, we go back to story mode. Campaign. This is where story mode is very, very uh, important. Every time you do a story chapter, you get about three or four chests worth of diamonds. And every time you complete a stage, um, you get a certain amount of stars, you do get these uh, diamonds from these chests. And you also get talent points and other stuff. So I've rounded it off. I've rounded the rewards off to chapter 18, which is level 80 cap. So if you reach level 80 and you complete chapter 18 for both story and elite mode, I have rounded up the rewards. So for story mode, it is 2,310 diamonds. Uh, just note that this will take months to get to. You can't just get level 80 instantly. It will take quite a bit of time in the game but yeah you can get 2310 diamonds from level 1 to level 80 chapter 18 completed and for elite it's the same thing applies you get these five chests and then get this extra chest if you complete all of it perfectly and elite you can get 3500 diamonds if you're level 80 chapter 18 I just put out that instead of like level 100 because that's not really realistic. Realistic is around level 80, level 70. Free to play people can get pretty easily. It does take uh, it does take time, though you do have to remember. So in the end, free to play players should be able to get around 500 plus diamonds weekly. It's not daily, that's weekly. And your all time rewards should be around 11 to 12,000 plus diamonds you can get more you can get more diamonds from events and there is this thing on the left here oops my bad uh, increase crew rank there are these achievements on the left at the very start of the game that do reward diamonds more than this uh, so as you increase your crew rank or your uh, as you level up you get diamonds every time so if we go to the quest and we go down to story quests every time you level up or power up your characters or anything you'll get some diamonds here as well uh, so yeah so you get around like yeah 12,000 plus diamonds plus 500 uh, every week so remember as I said right here remember these diamonds will take a long time to accumulate you're not gonna get 11 to 12,000 diamonds instantly when you play the game and remember what we said at the very start of the video these diamonds don't include new server rewards or any events in the game as it is too hard to track down and I'm not going to go over every single event in the game and how many diamonds it gives but at the start of the game it does give you quite a lot of diamonds so you're probably getting like over 20,000 diamonds uh, you're probably getting like over 20,000 diamonds here and yeah, 500 daily. But yeah, at the very end here, I have stated that make sure you save your diamonds. You can check my previous video on how to waste your diamonds. So how to not use your diamonds. So make sure you're saving your diamonds for the very good events. If you're on a new server, there are very good events. Much better than the main rotation servers. You can get C17 characters much cheaper for the first month of the game. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, so yeah, make sure you're saving your diamonds, only using them on the good character events. Yeah, just make sure you're saving them. And that's it for the rundown of all the diamonds and how you can obtain them in One Piece Ocean Conflict Royal World. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope this is a great help to you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.